this video, we'll talk about an interesting sequence in mathematics called the Stern sequence. So you start with the function's value for the integer 0 is equal to 0. The function's value for the integer 1 is equal to 1. And then how do you go from there? Well, if you have an even number, the value of the function for an even number 2n is the value of the function at n. If you have an odd number, 2n plus 1 is odd for any n. And we're only talking about the value of the function integers. You take the function at n plus the function n plus 1. And it turns out as you cycle through the integers and take f of n over f of n plus 1, you get every rational number. So can we create this sequence using Excel? We can do it with the if statement, is even function, and the index function. So to get a little feel for this, how do you get the value of the function at 3? You divide 3 by 2, you get 1 and a half. You take the two integers bracketing 1 and a half, you get the value of the function at 1 and 2. So how do you get f of 5? Well, divide that by 2, you get 2 and a half. So basically, an n, n is 2 there. You would add up f of 2 plus f of 3. For 7, you divide by 2, you get 3 and a half. You'd add up f of 3 plus f of 4. You put an f of 0 is 0. f of 1 is 1. And then the key formula is going to be this one. So let's tear it apart. We'll need a bunch of things in here. Okay, so we need this crazy formula. Okay, so it's an if statement. Okay, so if we've got an even number, is even was, is true if there's an even number. So basically, if you've got an even number over here for your value of n, then you'll do an index function. We're always going to start in row 8 and divide that by 2. So like if you want f of 8, n is 4. So you would take 8 divided by 2 is 4, and you pick the value of the function at 4. That's what this does. Now, it's not an even number that you're dealing with. It's an odd number, of course. So what you do is divide value of n by 2, like we said, subtract a half, divide the value of n by 2, and add a half, and then you use the index function on that range to pull the right value. Okay, and that's all there is to it. And so if you copy that down, I've done it here. I've copied it from 2 to 3, but we'll copy it down to the bottom by double-clicking the left mouse. Let me check my book here. So that looks like it's 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 4. And that's right. Now, what's f of n? We'll go over some of those calculations in a minute. But f of n divided by f of n plus 1. So this would be basically f of 0 divided by f of 1. That's going to start you at 0. And if you double click and copy that down, you see you're getting, you'll get every rational number, but we do this as n ranges to infinity. So let's just go through and check this here. So f of the value of the function at 2, you should take whatever it was at 1, that's 1. Now at 3, you should average uh, the value of 1 and 2, that gives you a 2. Now at 4, you go back to f of 2, you get a 1. At 5, you add up the value of 2 and 3, you get 2 plus 1 is 3. Now at 6, you take the value of the function at 3. And at 7, you'd average, you take, add up the values at 3 and 4, like that. So this works perfectly. But again, we need to know three functions, if you call if a function, if function or if statement. Uh, is even or is odd, whatever, and the index function. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's 4 point something, or maybe even 5, I don't think it's 5, yeah, 4.8, and so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there, but again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know, thanks.